My name is Lindsay Douglas and I'm a speech language pathologist. I've been practicing for about 16 years now and I specialize in treating and assessing patients with dysphagia or swallowing problems. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Guardian Aspire 2 Swallow Stim. This device can be used both for assessment and treatment for patients with dysphagia. So let's take a look. When you open up your box, you're going to find the device in the padded cloth case. And you'll also have a bag of accessories with your electrodes and additional items needed for practice. When you unbox your Aspire 2, it does come with some battery life, but we wanna make sure you go ahead and get that charged. You'll remove the rubber on the bottom and the charger just plugs in right here. You wanna make sure you realize you're not gonna be able to use that device while you're charging it, so make sure you plan ahead. Let's go ahead and power it on. You'll notice a gray power button on the top and you'll just need to hold it down for a couple of seconds until the screen comes on. The device starts out in surface EMG mode, and that's what we'll cover first today. Your lead wire is packaged separate, and this one lead wire will be used both for surface EMG as well as NMES. So the color-coded ends are what go to your electrodes, and this is what's gonna connect to your device. You'll see if you feel along here, there's a groove in the black portion and there's actually an arrow pointing to that. It's important that you line that up with the word out on the top of your device. Don't force, but gently line that up and insert it until it clicks all the way in. So when we're placing electrodes, I wanna show you how to connect those. You have two different sets of electrodes included because you'll need your round electrodes to place over the muscles where you wanna read the signal. And you also have your package with your reference electrode. You'll notice this is a larger two by two and we only need that electrode when we're using surface EMG. Your lead wires are color coded. So you'll disconnect the electrodes from that little X on the back. That's just to keep them in place. And you're just gonna wanna gently push until you have a solid connection. The Aspire 2 device will give you a loose electrode signal if anything comes undone with each lead wire, with the connection to the top of the device, or with the contact from the electrode to the skin. The black electrode is then going to plug in to your square two by two. Once you've prepped the skin, you've placed the electrodes, don't forget to use that adhesive bandage to make sure that we have a good tight connection when we're getting a reading from our suprahyoids. When you're collecting surface EMG data, you wanna make sure that you're doing something that's pre-measured so that every sip or bolus is the same size and the same consistency. You can use something like a Provel cup. This one gives a five cc sip. You could use it with thin liquids. You could do by teaspoon. You could measure something out in small cups. Just make sure it's something that you're going to be able to repeat if you ever wanna compare across different time points. So once you've got that all set up and ready to go, you're simply gonna hit the play button in the middle of the device. When I hit play, it's gonna count down from three. Then I'm gonna have three different windows of time for my patient to give a good, hard swallow. It will also give an average, so you'll see trials one, two, and three, an equal sign for your average. That's gonna be the motor potential output, and you'll divide it by 2.4 to convert to microvolts. So you can collect and use the Surface EMG just on the device alone. If you do have access to an iPad, you can use our free iPad app. You'll find all the information on the password, how to download the app, all in the resource guide with our full course. When the app is opened up, you'll find it comes to this main screen. 
the first thing you want to do is Bluetooth to your Aspire 2 device. You'll want to make sure that you have your Aspire 2 device turned on and close by, and then you'll hit that Bluetooth. Click Connect. It will tell you that it was successful, and you'll also see a Bluetooth symbol on the screen of your device right next to the battery. You can use the app to collect information. So just like we did on the device, maybe we have a patient that has a hard time getting that timed up. You'll wanna make sure that your device is in surface EMG mode and you've already hit play, and then you'll just hit start. So that blue line is reading as your patient swallows. You'll see the hill go up and back down. So you could do your trials of three, or you could have them do something like an effortful swallow and see if they increased the muscle contraction. You'll see here, if I tap the screen, I can move that throughout, line it up wherever I wanna take a look, and I'll get the reading for that point. The iPad app is also great for gamification, whether it's with adults or with pediatrics. You'll be able to set your games and dial them in for your patient. And again, you'll find that information in the resource guide with our course. Any of these games, when you start, as your patient contracts those muscles, you'll see they become successful when they hit the targets in the game. So there's a lot of different features here and things to really work with both our older adult patients as well as our pediatric patients on our caseload. Games can be really motivating and this just gives you another tool within your therapy session. Next, we're gonna take a look at how easy it is to switch between the modes or the modalities on your Aspire 2. So to go from Surface EMG to NMES or eSTEM, you'll simply hit this yellow button at the bottom of the device. You'll see that you can go through all the different options and you'll stop on NMES. We'll then use the triangles on either side under the screen to go between our different programs. When you're on your program, you'll hit the play button. You'll see a waveform traveling across the top of the screen and you'll see that the total time has started to count down. You'll need to start out by slowly increasing the amplitude or the milliamps to get that signal going to the patient. It does have a safety feature where you need to hit minus minus and then hit plus to increase. This prevents you from accidentally bumping it or from it increasing abruptly. Once you've reached where you need to be, you'll see it displayed on the screen. If at any time during treatment you need to go down, you can simply hit the minus, or to increase, hit the minus minus, and then the plus. And to power the device down, you'll just hold down the gray button on the top until the screen goes blank. The Aspire 2 device is a great option and a great tool when you're looking for both NMES and Surface EMG in the same device. If you're interested in a two-channel NMES device, we also have available the Guardian Unity Swallow Stem with two channels and seven different programs. Make sure you know that we've got courses for both the Aspire 2 and the Guardian Unity by clicking the link in the description below. Our courses are offered as a live virtual interactive training for ASHA CEUs and they're open for both clinicians as well as caregivers.